When it comes to flavor development and perfume development, because they're essentially the same starting point, people often experience an issue where they buy their compounds, bring them home, open them up, and experience raw disappointment. And that's because they can't smell them. Uh, the trick I'm gonna show you today, called retronasal exhalation, it will help that because you just basically have to tune your brain, you know, consider it antennas, you just gotta line them up so you can smell some compounds. So for example, Hedione, Iso-E Super, uh, you know, many of the jasmines and sandalwoods tend to be a really light aroma that you may not be able to pick up right away. And using this technique, you should be able to do it in a couple minutes. A lot of people do take months to learn, just doing the normal waving things under your nose method. Uh, this method is a little more direct and it uses your mouth and basically you inhale through your mouth and exhale through your nose. And that actually helps you sense the compound better. So let me show you how that's done. I'm Darcy O'Neill and this is Art of Drink. Now this technique, comes from a course called The Science of Taste that I've been teaching for 15 years. And I've also done spirit competitions, so judging of them. And obviously spirits are pretty intense, so if you put them in your mouth and squish them around, you get too much. What you really wanna do is breathe through your mouth and then exhale through your nose, and you'll get a really good sense of the aroma of things. So with this technique, it's really easy. All you're going to do is take your scent strip uh, grab a compound, so this is ebonol. I find this one quite light to start. Sometimes people don't know if they're smelling it or not. You just want the tiniest amount, just the tip of uh, your scent strip to have stuff. You don't need to dilute it. And always close your lid. And just a recommendation, obviously do this away from your working area. So this lab area has got a lot of competing aromas. So typically I would do this kind of in my kitchen where there's not so much or some place that's scent neutral. Don't wear perfumes or don't smoke before you do this. And only do like, you know, less than 10 samples in a sitting. You can do multiple sittings a day, but give yourself a break between because you're, you know, you're trying to learn each compound individually. Now I call this the joint method and you'll understand why in a second, but you're gonna take your scent strip and you're gonna hold it up to your lips and you're gonna breathe in very slowly, just kind of inhale. Hold it a little bit and then just let it flow out your nose. So you wanna bring it in through your lips and then into your oral cavity, into your lungs, and then just exhale through your nose. And what happens is you really pick up the scent of it. it, it can be mar far more rewarding to do it this way than feeling you can't smell them. And it's really simple. You, again, you just purse your lips and pull it in. And you wanna take a deep, long breath. There's no rush in doing this. So just kind of pull it in, taste it. And when you're exhaling, or just always leave it in front of you. Obviously, I'm talking too much because this is a video. But if you just leave it here while you breathe in and exhale and breathe in and exhale and do that, your body will learn the smell. It's going to tune in to these compounds and it will allow you to develop flavors or perfumes way better. And you can even breathe in through your nose a little bit. So if you can breathe in through both or exhale through both, that's fine as well. But the whole trick is to just, you know, get it saturating the environment. The problem with um, often breathing just through your nose is that people inhale so fast that the aroma compounds just zip past your, your sensory organs just too fast. So, you know, slowing it down and just giving your body time to process. Uh, it's always best to stare into the void when you do this. Just, you know, don't think about anything. Just let your body analyze, don't be distracted and just kind of relax. And you'll pick these compounds up really quickly. Now, the second method I call the Bogart method. This one's a little more in depth. And instead of just putting it up to your lips, obviously, you know, you can share this with other people if you're doing a group tasting or smelling uh, because you're not actually touching anything, you're just inhaling. But uh, in this method, we're gonna go right into our mouths. You don't wanna touch your tongue with this. You can, it's fine. Some compounds 
taste a little crappy uh, in higher concentrations. They will not hurt you. Uh, all of these co compounds are mostly grass, generally recognized as safe. And even the ones used in the perf perfume world that are not approved for food use will not harm you because you're spraying them on your skin. And anytime you spray stuff in the air, you're inhaling it into your lungs. And the amount on this, because it's not actually an aerosol, is less than what you'd get spraying into your, you know, the perfume into the air. But just don't touch your, touch your tongue, mostly to avoid any off flavors, like bitterness, um, that will distract you. So I usually just put it between my teeth. You can actually pinch it between your teeth if you want. And then just breathe through your mouth and you can just let it sit there. The, the molecules will cast off from this, from the heat of your mouth and they will fill your senses. So your no nasal cavities and your mouth. But it's, if you breathe slowly enough, you're gonna get a more intense experience out of this method. And your body heat does help. So much like perfume when you spray on your skin or when you drink something, uh, you're going from room temperature to body temperature, and that's, you know, it can be 20 degrees Celsius or a whole lot more Fahrenheit in change, and that's going to, you know, increase the vaporization rate of these compounds. So you're going to get more of it. But just hold it in your mouth. Obviously, the Bogart method is a little more invasive. You can't share. Everybody's got to get their own strips, but it will actually, again, you'll get a more intense experience. And you'll often feel some tingling in your mouth. Uh, your body's just, you know, detecting it. And it's not anything harsh, but you'll just notice that it's there with some compounds. Uh, even if you can't smell it. But all of that is tuning your brain into what these compounds are. And your body will figure this out. So uh, much like perfume or cologne you put on your skin to smell, uh, this is kind of the heat-related method. And a slow exhale, again, kind of like the joint method, that just allows your sensory organs to be saturated or receptors. Uh, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.